Up for sale in our vehicle max, we have a 2008 GMC Denali, short wheel base, all wheel drive. Black on the outside with ebony black leather interior. It's completely loaded up. Has the uh, 20 inch chrome wheels from factory with Bridgestone tires that are not new, but they're in really good shape. They do not need to be replaced. Has factory navigation, factory DVD, factory power moonroof, power tailgate, heated seats, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. Car has a clean title and a clean Carfax. You can view right now for free at our website at vehiclemax.net. <clears throat> Car has no dents, no damage whatsoever, um, no hail damage, no love bugs. It has a clean title and a clean Carfax. You can view right now for free at our website at vehiclemax.net. We are located at 3200 Northwest. 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. We are open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 30,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out at bbb.org. <coughs> If you're watching this video not a trade, let me tell you it will cut off at three minutes. To see the full 15 minute video, please visit our website, vehiclemax.net. Okay, one of the many options in this vehicle is remote start. I'll demonstrate that now. You lock the vehicle up and you press up here twice, hold it a second time, and the car should start right up. Alright, and this is a neat feature you can use in the summer or in the winter. In the summer, you know, to cool down the car so that by the time you get inside it's not so hot. And in the winter, uh, to warm it up, so it's complete opposite. Uh, or also you can just turn it on and uh, let the vehicle reach the uh, optimum uh, operating temperature and that way it'll perform better. Uh, once you're ready to go, all you got to do is uh, unlock the vehicle, uh, open the door, stick the key in the ignition, open the switch and drive off. If you happen to change your mind, you decide you're not going to leave at the time. You don't have to go to the vehicle to turn it off. All you do is press here, and the car turns right off. Okay, let's go ahead and get inside of it and show you the interior options. <coughs> okay, we got black leather on the inside. The door panels are all um, charcoal black with uh, wood trimming over here. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt wheel, power mirrors, automatic headlights. Um, also, this particular unit features uh, power folding mirrors with a turn signal and puddle light. Uh, dual power seats, power recliner and lumbar support. And this seat not only slides back and forth, but also goes up and down. Before I sit down, let me pan over the leather so you can see it's in great shape. This vehicle is still in the manufacturer's warranty of 5 years or 100,000 miles on the powertrain. The bumper to bumper warranty has been exceeded by miles. Okay, let's lay the seat back a little bit. There are no burn holes or cuts or tears in the interior of the vehicle. And there's, a, there's no odor of uh, smoke, so it looks like maybe the previous owner was a non-smoker. Go ahead and get it turned on. Get the AC going first. Nice and hot day here in Miami, Florida. Okay, pull it up a little bit. All right. Right now we've got a DVD inserted in there and uh, which this front navigation screen will also play, um, by the way it's a, um, let me lower the volume here, it's a touch screen and um, it plays movies just like the same exact movie that they're watching in the back, it's what we're watching here and I'll go, I'm going to get off the vehicle for a second just to show you that. <coughs> now you can only watch the DVD in the front when the vehicle is in um, is in park. Once you take the car out of park, the screen in the front will turn into your navigation or stereo, or if you put it in reverse, it'll turn into your backup camera. I'll demonstrate that in a second. First, um, let's get the moonroof open. It is a one touch. So you can see I don't have to hold the switch to get it open. It is a glass moonroof, it is tinted, but if you'd like to cover the sun, there's a cover you can slide here completely to block it out, but let's leave it open for now. All right, um, let's go ahead and check out the uh, navigation screen. Press nav over here. Green. And there's your navigation screen. Um, as I was saying to you before, 
the uh, when you put the car, let's put the movie back. There's audio here, and there's your movie again there. Okay. Uh, when you put the vehicle in reverse, you're gonna see that that camera is gonna go to your backup camera. Okay. And I'll demonstrate how that works. Uh, we've got backup sensors as well as um, as well as a camera. As you can see, it just beep for me. Let me know that we're approaching a vehicle. This here is the outline of a rear bumper. <clears throat> All right, and uh, that's actually very accurate. You can come up with an inches. Right there, you can hear beeping con continuously to let us know that we're inches away. Okay, now when you uh, put it in back in uh, drive, the camera will stay on, on reverse camera for a little bit until you, it takes about five to six seconds for it to go back to uh, your navigation or your DVD screen. <clears throat> And uh, as you can see, uh, it got your AM, FM, XM stereo, which is probably right now some preview mode simply because the, um, the subscription is not activated. There's your DVD mode, going back to the movie. They sell uh, something um, uh, on, on eBay and some of the uh, electronic shops where you can actually kind of fool the car into thinking that it's in park so you can watch uh, a movie up here while you're driving. I don't recommend it, but they do sell it just to let you know. Uh, your auxiliary, that's the, you know, that's for your uh, for your iPod port, which will play the, your music on your Bose stereo sound system. And let's go ahead and listen to the stereo sound system for a minute. Step closer to realizing. Let's find a station the here. Today, it's still the unique symbol of Wells Fargo. Racetrack and This is your remote control for the stereo. You can mute it here and unmute it also. And here you can control the volume. This is down obviously and this is up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and mute it now. These here are to navigate um, about your uh, stations that you have preset already. This is your seek button to, uh, to uh, check any station that's available. And the source is the same thing, you know, moving from AM to FM to XM to DVD to auxiliary to your uh, clock to change it over there. Okay, uh, <clears throat> go ahead and put it back on nav. All right, uh, what else we got to show you here? Okay, a neat option here is your power folding middle row bucket seats, okay? And uh, I'm going to turn about here, press one of those two buttons. We'll press this one here so you can see how it works. Flips down the backrest and it lifts up to gain easy access for the rear row passenger. Now they both do that. I'm only going to demonstrate that just to uh, expedite the video. Here's your power tailgate. I press it in now. Uh, so you can see how it works. The tail lights flash and it also uh, beeps to let you know it's about to open. I'm going to go ahead and close it again. That light's coming from the west, so it doesn't bother for the video. Okay. All right. Um, we've got dual climate control. What does that mean? Well, it means this. You can make the passenger side, let's say, 70 degrees if you wish. That way you can have two different uh, levels of comfort for uh, the passenger and the driver. Matter of fact, this unit has triple climate control because the rear row passengers have control for their own uh, AC and temperature. Okay. Let's put it back to 60. All right, uh, power adjustable pedals. Uh, that's in case uh, you get a real tall driver or a short driver, you know, and then uh, just pushing the seat all the way forward is not enough. The, these pedals can be moved back up and down independently of the seat to help the uh, driver reach the pedals or vice versa. If you got a real tall guy and, uh, and it's pushing the seat all the way back is not enough, you can push the pedals all the way forward to give them a little more room. This is to deactivate the parking sensors and uh, the reason you would use that is uh, let's say you're towing a boat or trailer and you want to back it down. Once you put the car in reverse it will be beeping the whole time because 
you're towing in the proximity of the trailers right behind you so when you do that you disable it once you put the car back out of reverse either into park or neutral drive it'll re-enable itself on its own traction control to disable that and this is for your rear window washer get a couple of power outlets here for your cigarette lighter or cigarette lighter adapter okay a uh, cup holder underneath here this is your ashtray nice and clean uh, okay uh, we got wood trimming that starts off here <coughs> on the um, drivers uh, control around the switch and uh, on the power window switches uh, continues over here uh, over here as well down here around your stereo and air conditioning controls down here there's also some on the uh, center console here uh, and over there as well on the uh, passenger side and over there okay we've got curtain side airbags here on the front post the middle post and there's another set on the rear post which I'll show you later so we got a total of six side airbags okay we've got the OnStar and I'll tell you in a few minutes what that does on the rear view mirror we got a digital readout for the uh, for a compass and a temperature which lets you know right now we're pointing or heading east and it's 91 degrees outside uh, this is your uh, home link and this is to program your garage door or gate at your complex that way once you program it you don't need to have a control in your car it will remember um, we've got cruise control over here <coughs> leather plus wood trimming on the steering wheel and I'll pan around that so you can see that it is in perfect shape there's no tears or cuts or cracks on the leather or on the wood trimming <clears throat> okay alright car has 65,267 miles it is running right now keep an eye on the big left hand dial that's your tachometer I'm gonna rev it and the reason I'm doing that is simply so you can see that the car is running and there, no, there are no check engine light on or airbag lights or anti-lock braking system or service engine soon or um, or uh, tire pressure monitoring fault or anything like that everything is working perfectly okay um, <coughs> Let's go ahead and uh, put this window. The two front windows are one touch, meaning this. You don't have to hold the switch for the windows to go down. Put on the turn signal, and as you can see there, it lights up on the mirror. Same thing, let's put that window down. Same thing on the passenger side. A little harder to see from here. Okay, and these are power folding mirrors. Let's fold them in. Okay, and let's fold that one out so you can see that one moving as well and they're working perfectly uh, not only do not only these mirrors heated but they have a little light down there it's what's called a puddle light and that puddle light actually helps when you're parked in um, in a dark area where there's not very good lighting you can go ahead and uh, once you unlock the vehicle that light turns on and it points directly down into the floor so that you can see where you're stepping so it's kind of a pretty cool uh, feature there all right um <coughs> let's go ahead and uh, I think we're ready to move on to the back okay let's go ahead and oh I forgot about this feature here this is your uh, manual shifting mode and you got your towing haul mode and what it does is when you engage when you're towing a boat or trailer you want to press in here and engage the towing haul mode that way it'll make the transmission shift a little differently uh, and adjust for the extra cargo okay how this works let's show you this this is for plus and minus uh, right now we're in park let me get a little closer so you can see it. I'm gonna go to reverse, neutral, and drive. And that's how you're gonna drive 99% of the time. But if you want to put a little sport into it, or you're going down a hill and you want to control your shifting, go one more lever down. And then right there you're in manual mode. If you tap up, it'll it'll upshift all the way to six-speed automatic transmission. Okay, and downshift is the same way, just tap on the minus sign, and that's how it works okay but if you don't want to mess around with that just push it up one notch and it'll shift automatically on its own the six speed automatic transmission okay go ahead and turn off the vehicle and move on to the middle row section of the car the car does have a uh, uh, quad seating buckets in the front buckets in the middle and a bench seat in the back and let's open up and take a look at that um, this seat is power folding as well as the same as the other side, but I'm, there's no need to demonstrate both. 
Okay, down here is our bench third row seat. You can put up to three people back there and they all have an over the shoulder belt including the middle row passenger. Up here, the rear um, uh, passengers have their own AC vents. The middle row passengers have their own setup here, over here. There's your DVD player, map lights, and there's map lights as well back there. Over here, you, as you can see, not only are the front seats heated, but these middle row buckets is heated as well. Okay. <clears throat> uh, you, uh, you get controls here for the AC and the stereo. And uh, there's another power outlet there next to the video input. Meaning you can actually, if you want to see what I play Nintendo, you can play it on the car as long as you can power it. And it'll play on your uh, oh, factory Panasonic uh, DVD screen. Okay, looks like whoever had this car didn't have any kids because I don't see any baby indentations on the seat or any damage. I mean, uh, kids love to stick their feet on here and stretch this out or even tear it out sometimes from the sides. These are in perfect shape uh, and there's no indentations from a baby car seat. Uh, I was telling you before that we have uh, another set of um, curtain side airbags back here. So, the total of three. This is the uh, third post middle post here and then the other ones on the front post over there by a sun visor alright um this vehicle is equipped with the um, child lock protection how that works is stick your key in here and um, right now it's it on right now it's unlocked okay um, to, to, uh, to uh, enable the lock you wanna twist this to the left and what that is is that disables this, this door handle that's in case you get any kids and you don't want them to be able to open the door from the inside. Uh, and to undo it, it's very easy. All you do is twist back and that's it. By the way, uh, there's a plastic cover that goes here that covers that screw. It's on order. They didn't stock it. We ordered it already. It's supposed to look like this. And this little piece of plastic here is the one that we ordered that's not in stock. Okay, um, let's move on to the back. Let's go ahead and uh, open the tailgate. You can do it with a remote. So you can see the taillights flash and it beeps to let you know it's about to open. By the way, all the taillights and headlights are in perfect shape. There's not cracked or scuffed or damaged in any way. They're nice and clear. You can see through them. They're not fogged up or full of water or anything like that. Uh, okay, um, these third row seats are, uh, it's a bench in the back, but it's a split bench. Okay, and you can actually flip this here. Oops, first this one, sorry. Flip this here to lower the back. Okay, and then um, flip this up here to lift the seat. And that gives you more room for cargo back there. And as you can see, it'll stay up and won't come down. To let it down, you just push this lever here and drop it, let it go. And it'll go right into place. You can also have it removed all completely, okay, by uh, flipping this down. And you just pull hard on this, and uh, you can put them in your garage and put them away. Let's go ahead and close this up here. All right. Come over here just a second here. Okay, let's close back here. Let's continue out to the side. All right, back here. It's a heavy-duty tone package with the electrical connection there ready to go. You got parking sensors, two on each side, right here and here. Come around this side here, take a look at the interior from a different angle. Oops, the car's locked here. Let me just reach around here and unlock it. I can't get it from here. I'll just show it from over here. Okay, there we go. Um, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, yes, I wanted to show you this here because uh, this part does not fold down power. You have to um, push it manually, but it's very easy. It's not heavy at all. You know, even a kid can do it. Just push it down, lift up, and you're ready to go. And you can also m make the seat fold from here. You don't have to do it from the front. This is a switch right here. I'll demonstrate. Okay. And the same thing. This gives you access to the for the rear nice and easy. To close it, same thing, just push it down, lift up, and you're ready to go. All right, uh, same thing, door panel, solid black with the wood trimming over here. Of course, child lock on both sides. Right front door panel, perfect shape, no damage, no burns, no cuts. 
Uh, we got heated seats in the driver's side and the, and, uh, and the passenger side as well, not just one side. And we got power seats and power recliner and lumbar support on the passenger side as well. Pan over the seat. And while I do that, let me tell you about the OnStar, which I forgot to tell you earlier. If you get into a car accident and any of the airbags deploy, it will send an immediate signal to the OnStar Center to let them know you've been involved in an accident. Um, they'll attempt to contact you through the car to make sure you're okay. If you do not respond within a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. Um, now the neat feature is um, if you uh, are lost and need to find the nearest gas station, hotel, restaurant, or whatever, if you're just plain old lost, you, play, you press that uh, blue one star button there and it'll give you turn by turn directions until you find your way. All right. Uh, Another neat feature about the OnStar is if, um, if you happen to lock your keys inside your car, uh, they provide you with a number that you can call. You call that number, identify yourself with a password or username or whatever way they used to identify you, and they can send an immediate signal to get the car uh, opened up for you, okay? And which will save you a bunch of money and a bunch of time having to pay for a locksmith and having to wait for a locksmith. Okay, that's pretty much going to do it for the video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to call me, 305-218-5462. Let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest, 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday 9 to 5, and always close on Sundays. We do specialize in SUVs, so if you're looking for an SUV, got, got lots of Escalades, Tahos, Suburbans, Armadas, Trailblazers, Buick Enclaves, GMC Arcadia, Saturn Outlooks, and other types of cars too. We've got lots of Hummers too, H2s, H3s, and we have regular sedans as well, Cadillac CTSs, Nissan Altimas, G35s, here's an M-Class uh, BMW convertible, and we have financing available for all types of credit. And I want to go ahead now and thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.